ain't gonna even lie. I ain't even mad at the white man no more for how he do. Cause if I could do like the white man do, I do just like. It. So I just put this video up, and either y'all didn't hear one thing that I said, or y'all just proved my point exactly that we really are the dumbest people on this planet. So under this video, you got us, my people, arguing politics. This video didn't have anything to do with politics or political affiliation whatsoever. Let me show you something. Are we really that dumb and naive as a people? You haven't seen and realized that no matter how far you go back, it don't matter who you vote for or who you affiliated with that the conditions that we have experienced in this country and the progress that we have attained in this country has been minimal at best, marginal. All we achieve is a whole bunch of symbolic victories because when you seem like you got a real victory. All they do is move the goalposts and change the rules when it comes to the game that's being played with us. It don't matter if you consider yourself a Democrat or Republican. You are shucking and jiving like the nigga in this video right here. As long as you, as a black person, melanated person, minority, whatever you want to classify yourself as or call yourself, as long as you partake in this system, you are a sellout to the entire race and to the entire people, and you are contributing to the systemic oppression that we are suffering at the hand of this establishment. No, things aren't as harsh and critical as they was when slavery existed, but it's oppression nonetheless. They just want to keep you comfortable in your oppression. They don't want to make it to where it's to the point that you want to riot and rebel against your oppression. And I'm going to show you something else. But you don't need a formal conspiracy right. when interests converge. These people went to the same universities oh, and fraternities. Please. They're on the it's same board of directors. They're in the same country clubs. They have like interests. They yes. don't need to call a meeting. They know what's good for them. It's a and they're getting it. And there, there used to be this... seven oil companies. There are now three. It will soon Ooh. be two. The things that matter in this country have been reduced in choice. There are two political parties. There are a handful of insurance companies. There are about six or seven in information things. But if you want a bagel, there are 23 flavors because you have the illusion. You have the illusion of choice. Right. You don't get the real important choice. There's exactly. no freedom of choice. That's a great point. Yeah. Right. See, this system ain't even set up for the average white man to win. And the smart ones realize this here. They just want average white men to feel like that they have it better than every other race and that every other race is to blame for all the other problems in this country and every other races is the reason that the average white man is just the average white man. And here you have a white man telling a Negro pen was really up, but this Negro pen has been allowed to come into the big house and allowed to fraternized with Massa so he got the Stockholm Syndrome and you can't tell him that this system isn't designed for him to win and for everybody to be equal and for everybody to succeed. He think just because he in the house he in the club. See that's what angered Kanye when Kanye found out that he wasn't in the club and he'll never be in the club. Jay-Z working real hard to be in the club. <laughs> but it's still doors that he'll never walk through. But he didn't walk through enough doors to where he could tell you we ain't kneeling no more. A lot of people don't even understand what the word civil means when it comes to civil rights. Civil rights means 
that the United States of America holds jurisdiction and decide over what your rights are, what the laws are, what you are owed, what you can do. See, and until you understand that this is a human condition and a human suffering, will Malcolm X realize that as long as you keep running to America, asking America to solve the problem that America caused for you, you're asking the same people that caused your problems to solve your problems. When you're trying to vote, you're asking the same people that caused your problems to solve your problems. And it really don't even matter here nor there because it don't matter who you vote for. They put whoever they want in office to be in office. It ain't like you count the votes anyway, cake ass nigga.